Hello and good evening. And thank you for joining in our graduation celebration this evening. This week's Torah portion is the portion of Korach. The Seder opens up with the vivid narrative of an insurrection against the leadership of Moshe, the leader of the Jewish people. A first cousin of Moshe named Korach led the insurrection. What led Korach's brazen rebellion against Moshe? What were the grievances he was fighting against? The Torah describes that Korach, along with over 250 other allies, challenged Moshe's appointment of Aaron, his brother, as the high priest. The crux of his challenge of perceived nepotism is captured in the third verse of this parsha, where the Torah quotes Korach's challenges in his own words. Ki kol ha'eda kulam kedoshim umadua tisnasu al kel Hashem. You, Moshe and Aram, have taken too much upon yourselves, for the entire congregation is all holy, and the Lord is in their midst. So why do you raise yourselves above God's assembly, the Jewish people? All of Israel is holy. Each and every Jew stood at Har Sinai and received the Torah from Hashem. Why, then Moshe, do you insist on creating division, hierarchy, and elitism amongst the Jewish people? All Jews are equally holy and pure. But let's clarify what indeed was Korach's tragic mistake. Why was his utopian vision one that would lead to a dystopian reality? Moshe's appointment of Aaron was not a brotherly demonstration of favoritism. He was acting based on the direct instructions of Hashem. And Hashem's mission and service he expects from each and every individual is not monolithic and identical for all. Hashem is not seeking that we each have the same manner and method of divine service and purpose. Our relationship with Hashem and Torah must be deep and personal, and as we are all unique with our strengths, passions, and roads in life, our divine mission and purpose echo this diversity. This message and Torah instruction how great the value and need for each of our different personalities, backgrounds, and styles be reflected in our service of Hashem. And mantra deeply etched into the environment, students, staff, and teachers at Bader Hill High. Our teachers don't see their students monolithically, nor are they hoping to cultivate students who are all the same. Everyone has different strengths and capabilities, each a unique world, individual, where a path and purpose of their own. My decision to come to Bader Hill High four years ago ensured that I, with my strengths, challenges, and all, would be supported, cultivated, and nurtured. These past four years have helped me grow as a person and helped me become the Jew and young man I am here today. I have not only grown academically and in maturity, I have grown more comfortable and embracing of myself as a person ready for the next stage of my life. I want to thank all my friends for making these past four years fun and enjoyable. I'd like to thank the teachers who brought me to where I am today and helped me grow academically. To my parents for helping me make the decision of coming to this school and supporting every decision I make. I will never forget my four years here and I am so grateful for everyone that's involved. Thank you, and Buxton Six.